All right, peoples, welcome, welcome. It's time to rate the supers. So, um, how do I do this? Wait a minute, they can't do a tournament. Uh, all, all, it's offline. All right, Kratos. And he has one more attack. Yeah, that that tracks. Yeah. Uh, it's not one of the biggest, best supers. Ever? Eh, I give him a 5 out of 10. Kratos gets a 5 out of 10. That's an automatic 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10, and that's unscapable too. And it's just a throwback to the original Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> oh my god, that statue, man. He's from Resurrection. Uh, Mini Resurrection. But uh, Parappa the Rapper's super level 3, 10 out of 10, perfection. It's a throwback to his game, so, and also inscapable. Parappa, a 10 out of 10. That princess. Oh yeah, I remember this super so freaking well. It's like a mess. It's not too flashy. It's just like they just it's just like they spam models all over the place. Not really creative though. So Fat Princess gets a four out of ten. Alright. Sweet tooth. I mean, it's cool for creativity. It actually is, but not too thrilling. I mean, you're controlling a robot, but it's cool. That's all I can say. It's it's cool, but not really gonna be up there though. But I'll give Sweet Tooth a seven out of ten. A seven out of ten. And he's quite happy with it. Colonel Raddick. not too it's not really that thrilling he gets a i hate to say it, he gets a one out of ten you're not really doing anything you're just shooting the screen that's it and you're in one spot you're not really doing anything just like flying in one place so colonel radic i hate to say it, your ultimate lack skill your super lack skill a one out of ten sly cooper Say cheese, cheddar. It's a pretty cool one. It's very different from Rattle because it actually has like a a IP. It actually shows like its own interface, like from its game. So it deserves and it deserves a few more points. And it gets a, I guess I'll give it a six out of ten. I mean, I like it. Not too thrilling though. I haven't really played Sly Cooper to know the series much though, but I definitely can't wait to play it tonight. But other than that, Sly Cooper gets a 6 out of 10. Alright, Sir Nathan Drake. Right, now it's Drake time. And he got Eddie Raja's gun and he turned into these monsters. Thanks to the idol from the first game. It's pretty cool. Actually, I take it back. It's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty cool because they turn into those monsters thanks to the idol and you get to use Eddie Raja's gun so I like it so uh, it gets a 7 out of 10 Nathan Drake a 7 out of 10 <laughs> he probably saying what's that voice coming from all right Cole McGrath good Cole I 
It's not bad. Not better, but it's not bad. Um, the score. Um, I guess I'll give it a four out of ten. I mean, it's not. It's it looks cool, but it's not like thrilling enough. But I actually no, I give it a five out of ten. It gets an extra point because in certain stages it actually like erupts in during during certain stages, like changes it a bit. But other than that, not really much. It's only just a tornado you can try to avoid, but it's pretty much death. But it looks cool, but it's just not cool enough. Comograph, good. A five out of ten. Evil Cole. That's it. That's all it is. You just you just move around and just shoot things. That's it. That's a three. Because of his attacks. I'm giving the number of scores of attacks he has. Evil Cole. A three. Out of ten. Here's Ratchet. And Clank. Eh, it's gonna be the same as Radic. A one out of ten. I wish today got something better. Ratchet and Clank. A one out of ten. Jack and Daxter. Same score as same score as um, Evil Cole, a three out of ten. A three out of ten for Jack and Dexter. Big Daddy or Mr. Bubbles. not bad i mean it's just a swimming section and stuff i mean it looks cool but not much of a big thrill so big daddy gets a four out of ten a four out of ten emu dante Uh, three out of ten. No question. It's just another control book thing. I mean, actually, no. I'll give it an extra point. A four out of ten because I like the music. But you have to chase your opponents. And you just, like, transport to Super Dante. That's pretty much it. So, Dante gets a four out of ten. He ha well, Hihachi Mishima. A 10 out of 10, automatic, 10 out of 10. It's a throwback to Tekken 5, and it's pretty something, man. It's a throwback. A 10 out of 10 for Yachi Mishima. And you need some rice. You are missed, you old bastard. You are missed. Mariko! There's just nothing but control ones again, but this actually has unique animation in these, in these attacks, so I'll give her a 5 out of 10, at least. Nariko, a 5 out of 10. Raiden.
can straight go to Jack Ripper mode or Ripper mode. It's cool. It's just not too thrilling though. I mean, they, they did start good when putting all the characters into boxes and stuff. Of course, that's a Metal Gear Rising reference and stuff. Uh, but the score, I'll give him a 6 out of 10 for Raiden. A 6 out of 10. Alright, Sackboy. <laughs> I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10. I did like that feature that um, they all turn into bubbles. And yeah, you can still move away in bubbles, but that is a definitely throwback to his game, Little Big Planet. And I really do like that super a lot. Sat Boy, a 8. Out of 10. Sir Daniel Fortescue has risen again. That's it. That's all you do. You just run around with the Anubis Stone. That's it. A uh, one! Out of 10 for my beloved Sir Daniel Fortescue, the hero of Galomir. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, he has to have the worst. He actually is way worse than Radix, man. I'm sorry. I just wish they put more effort into the characters, supers more. A 1 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Ape escape million monkeys. All right, Spike. Time to bring in the big guy. <laughs> yep, it freaking got zapped by the satellite. That's actually a cool one too. Okay, I'll give Spike a nine out of ten. I actually like that one. I actually like the, the design and how it like it shows the Earth and the satellite stuff. So dang man, that's like a death movie he actually has there. Spike gets a nut out of ten. All right, Toro. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Shingoku Sasu, eat your heart out. That's a 10 out of 10 for Toro. <laughs> I really like that one. That, that's such a like a Akuma freaking death move for a character like him. Toro gets a 10 out of 10. Leather. That looks like Leon's jacket, doesn't it? Hey, Hihachi. Leon Kennedy called. He won his jacket back. But I'll send it to pieces. Isaac Clark. It's a cool throwback to his game from Dead Space 3, I think 3 or 2. I think it was 3, because 3 would actually, you could actually float around all over space and destroy debris and stuff. So he gets deserves a 7 out of 10, because I actually do like it, how it starts, because you just set him outside in space while Isaac can actually control himself in the outside of it. It's really cool, I would like it. Isaac Clark, a 7 out of 10. And give him back, and give him Leon back his jacket. Zeus. Oh, he literally turned into the final boss in uh, God of War 3. Um, I'll give him for style points. I'll give him a 6 out of 10 for Zeus. A 6 out of 10. Cat. And she just transformed to her her ability that was in the game, but not uh, not much else. I mean, it's another controllable one. Three different unique attacks. I mean, it looks it looks alright. I mean, yeah, not much to go for with this. 
All right, same score as Radic and other controllables. A three out of ten for Cat. A three out of ten. Emmett Graves. I'm through playing games. Oh, it's Lily Sweet Tooth. Oh, eh, not bad. Eh, it's not bad, but I wish it was better. Uh, I'll give him 4 out of 10 for this effort. Emmett Graves, a 4 out of 10. I gotta say, the best ones is actually Parappa and Hihachi. They both are the ones that I like the best ones I really like. Spike is actually up there, too, with his. Raiden's was okay. 